The war is over. Peace come to the land. Something you don't see every day just happened between Apple, Amazon, and Google, as well as Zigbee alliances. I don't know much about them, probably because their name starts with a Z. It's always on the bottom of all those lists, but how often do you see Apple, Google, and Amazon agree to collaborate on something, right? That doesn't happen that often. So today we'll be talking about what Apple's newsroom post means about that and why unifying your smart home appliances is long overdue. This is great news. Let's begin. So a few things you should be happy about. The priorities that Apple and Google and Amazon are agreeing on for this new smart home appliance open standard is that it's royalty free, so it's not like one company's making a bunch of money off this. They have a huge focus on privacy, of course, because Apple is involved, keeping Google and Amazon in check. I know, hopefully nothing slips through the cracks and Google gets to spy on everything, but personally, I have talked about this being a huge issue for smart homes for a long time. A lot of people have talked about how they think that maybe the next gen, the next big wave of tech is going to be smart home appliances. Now, I don't think that's as big as the electric car and making vehicles smarter trend, but we can agree to disagree on that one. One thing I think we can all agree on is the fact that there's too many different standards in smart bulbs and smart appliances as a whole are far too complicated. They're probably not that complex if you just bought into one single ecosystem, but if you're someone like me who before the HomePod came out, you know, I got several Google Home Minis as well as a Google Home Max, so I bought accessories that support the Google Home and the Alexa devices, but then once the HomePods came out, I started having to switch and buy bulbs that were compatible with HomeKit. Now in hindsight, I wish I would have just stuck with that because I prefer HomeKit to Google Home and Alexa devices, but that's the thing. Our market is so all over the place. There's a bunch of you guys probably who have bought HomeKit enabled accessories because you either have an iPhone, an iPad, or an Apple TV, so you want to control it that way, but simultaneously, you also have your Alexas and your Google Home speakers, it makes way too much sense. In fact, it makes you wonder why haven't they done this already? That there needs to be just an open standard that everybody adopts to. Given Amazon owns the Echo devices, which are incredibly popular, and Google owns the Google Assistant, and Apple owns Siri, which a ton of people use on the daily, these are the three big giants when it comes to how we control our smart appliances and making sure that there's one standard that we can just start releasing light bulbs in the future that say, you know, work with digital assistants, okay? That would be way better than works with Siri, works with Google Assistant, or works with Echo devices. So trying to unify that in a way that is focused on being secure and private while also being open source and royalty free is great for the end user. Really happy that these companies can actually come together and work collaboratively on a project like this. It's sort of like how lots of different companies came together to work on USB-C. Apple was one of them, and they were one of the first mainstream brands to start enforcing USB-C on devices way back with the 12-inch MacBook. No, they did not single-handedly come up with USB-C, but they did work on it with other companies, and they started pushing it a lot with their products. Now, if only they would push it with their iPhones a little bit more, I think we would be much happier. But knowing that there's going to be a more universal, not port, but digital standard for smart bulbs and thermostats, probably, that kind of thing, from here on out, so that we know that in the future, this isn't going to happen overnight. I know they're still working on the project, so it's not officially happening, you know, right this second, but hopefully by this time next next year, we'll have a new badge on all our smart home appliances that just say compatible with digital assistance, and hopefully they can take some of that Apple intuition so that pairing and setting up these devices is very, very intuitive. That's actually one of the reasons I'm a big fan of HomeKit. It's so simple. You just have this little QR code badge on the device, and you hold your phone camera on it, and then boom, it's paired very easy when it works, but sometimes it doesn't work, so eh. They could use some help from Google and Amazon, which also have fairly intuitive ways of setting up bulbs, but it's ridiculous to me that you have to set up like a different email and password for every single brand of light bulb you buy now. In the old days, it was just like, let me replace the light bulb. When I moved and I had to like unpair all my smart bulbs and start installing them again, I was like, oh crap, I forgot the password to my light bulbs account. Ugh, it's so frustrating. The future is smart, but it's also kind of stupid. The fact that you need like passwords to access light bulbs. I don't know necessarily if this is going to fix that problem, but I really hope so, so that we can get rid of that complication 
solution and buying smart accessories can be reasonable, practical, and knowing that these three tech giants are working on it together hopefully means we're gonna get the best of all of them putting their energy together. Hopefully it's not a too many cooks in the kitchen type situation where there's a bunch of conflicting ideas and then there's different compatibility even though it's one standard or that kind of thing. We need a USB-C port for the smart home world. One standard, one thing everyone's used to, and it's really good to finally see tech giants finally agreeing on that. And suck it, Microsoft! You weren't invited to this party because no one cares about Cortana. Though I'm sure if Microsoft asked to join, they would probably open them in, but doesn't seem like it yet, so ha <laughs> Enjoy your folding duo phone, Microsoft. Anyway, what do you guys think of these big tech giants coming together to make a smart home standard? Feel free to hit me up on Twitter or join our Discord. We can talk more about light bulb passwords there. This is your Rob Sheep here. I'll see you in the next one.